Now can I can I get in the frying pan? Actually, in, in it. Am I am I in the pan? Look, I'm being cooked in the frying pan. Hey everybody, it's Lapis Lori, and welcome back to Attack of the Bee Team. We're here at my treehouse base, and as you can see, I've done a little bit of improvement. Um, I'm standing on a bridge that I said I was going to make a little bridge that goes from one place to the other, and it I was making it out of carpenter blocks, and Armitage came over to visit me while I was building, and showed me. Look, I've pushed it one too many times. There. Nope. Nope. One more. Yes. Okay and showed me um, these things called sky blocks and they're the coolest things. What they do is they mimic the sky, whatever it is, time of day, from up above. But if we fly around, uh, let's get to be where I am here. And we will fly down. Look, it's like almost transparent. They're the coolest things. No matter what time of day it is, it shows whatever the sky is. So at night, you can see the stars in them, which is super cool. So you can put them like inside the roof of whatever building you're in, and it looks like you're outside. It's the coolest thing. And so that inspired me. I had used ice on these carpenter blocks that are an angle. That's another thing I want to show you guys today. In my previous episode, too, about carpenter blocks, I had said something about how you can make different shapes but I was unable to get that to happen well let's just show you so you remember um, carpenter blocks themselves you put a solid plank in the middle and surround it by sticks right right so in order to make the angled ones you put sticks at an angle and this is just crafting leg here gosh darn it like this I don't want those there now and then you put your carpenter blocks themselves in the corner and then you make a wedge slope and these little dudes um, I have my chisel with me but not the hammer because Armitage accidentally borrowed it these little dudes make angles okay so let's just give you an example of something they can do let's just put this here and we'll do a slope here a slope here and then we'll just put this in the middle and look it forms like a diagonal now when you hit these with a chisel uh, either of them let's just kind of play around with them and here is my carpenter's chisel and you make this by using a carpenter block in place of stick okay and you can make a hammer the same fashion let's just show you how to do that I can I need to make a hammer anyway okay so you have your crafting bench First thing we're going to do is avoid that spider, wherever it is. Ooh, those little baddies right there. I'd like to burn every single one of them. I hate them. Oh, he killed himself. Good choice. Good choice. I hate, I hate those little, little spiders. The jungle spiders. They're evil. So you can make a carpenter's hammer by using... Is it this? Hang on, i got to figure it out. No, I had it right the first time, I believe. Is that correct? Mm -mm -mm. Maybe it's just like that. Okay. Just the two iron at the top and one on the side. And then your carpenter blocks instead of sticks makes a hammer. And then you can make the chisel. You have four iron and then one crafting issue right there. That should make a chisel. Let's try again. thought it was this way. Alright, hang on a second. I'm going to get the recipe so we do it right. Okay, as promised, we're back. And it's much simpler than I thought. It's just one carpenter block and one iron. Um, if you wanted to make this chisel, it's four irons and one stick. Like so. So that's where my confusion... Whoop. I tell you what, see? Right there. That's how you make the regular chisel. And to make the carpenter's chisel is just one iron and one carpenter's block. But I don't need a carpenter's chisel because I have one already. Um, but let's go over here and let me show you these at night. Look, you can see through them. I think that's just the most amazing thing. And that's called a sky block. And I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit because you need ender pearls, you need end stone and glass. And so we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. But let's look at this. I have my hammer, so I'm gonna right click this square block and it makes a vertical half slab. Right click it again back 
I just that's that's some of the things you can do with that. Now, if I hammer this, it just kind of flips rotation. Um, it makes an inverted V. Um, it makes a upside down inverted V. Makes the point like what we have here. A lot of times, it depends on the placement next to where it's at. Um, so it, that's kind of cool. I like that, and it, it makes all kinds of shapes. But you have to like remember what shape you're doing um, to make it. Uh, let's let's chisel it. Right click with the chisel. Uh, apparently, it's not going to do anything with that one because it's already done something to it. If we could get it back to the original shape, that would be the look at that a pyramid. You could put that on top of a fence post or something. That would be cool. That would be the bee's knees. In fact, we're going to use that at one point. So all kinds of shapes for these angles. I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that because I learned about it in the last episode. Look at that. It looks like the top of a house. You could do like a ridgeline thing. Nifty. Nifty, nifty. Okay. So we're going to break that. Get it back into our inventory because those little dudes are pretty handy for all kinds of things. I did go on a little adventure and found all kinds of stained leaf trees and what you can do with these the actual saplings can become that dye so once you get them grown enough that they will start making a, a more efficient tree farm thing you can start harvesting the saplings there's no one of those stinky spiders yee hate them hate those spiders creeping me out so I live in an area where there are ticks naturally and we have to be super hyper aware of them Okay, the other thing that I found were waypoint blocks. Somebody gave me these, and you can craft them. Let's uh, see if we can find them. Let's waypoint right here. Waypoint block, and it gives you the crafting recipe of smooth stone as a cap, and then an ender pearl in the middle. And you need four of them to make a waypoint block, and then a waypoint compass. Uh, also here you can just look I'm not real sure how that works because I haven't discovered that yet but if you have four of them and you right click it you could set a waypoint and my this is the tree house we can go here to my old house which is the starter hut right here okay now the other thing I discovered was these micro blocks and I made some abstract sculpture here I threatened to make little bird houses for everybody on the server and I may yet do that because that may be entertaining to me and now my house looks like a gumdrop candy land house because I've put like uh, I, I made redstone blocks and then made micro blocks so I have a ton of them now so I did something with them um, so that's what I've learned how to do and I'll show you how you can make micro blocks as well so let's look up saw let's just look at an iron saw okay so you have the stone rods we have a ingot and sticks okay so that's how you do that so to make the stone rods you gotta have your pattern bench and this will be an entire episode all on its own here's the rod pattern and you can uh, put that on here oh that makes the stencil hang on is this the how you you make the piece part builder yes so you need that and then you can um, oh come on thing tool and rod pattern. That's what you want right there. Not that. And will it make it? Why won't it make it? Arg! Do I have smooth stone in the house? Bread. All kinds of bread. Do I have smooth stone in here? Yay! Okay, so here we go. So we're going to make this part. Not that one. So it's the tool rod pattern, which you can make uh, patterns with, and then this. Okay, so now we have a stone rod and a shard that you get with it. And briefly, we will go over how you make a pattern. You have two planks and two sticks to get, believe me, trust me, it really will work. You get a blank pattern, okay? And then you can come over and put your blank pattern, well, you can't really put that in there, but um, this gives you an idea of what you can make, okay? So now you can make all kinds of stencils. Here's the tool rod pattern, which we already have. There's the pickaxe head pattern. 
a shovel head pattern. I don't think I have that yet, so we'll go ahead and use that. And then you can put that in this chest. All the pre-made things in this chest. See, I actually did have a shovel head pattern, but that's okay. And now you can make that part with items from your inventory that will be more durable, is my understanding. But it's not making it. I'll have to go into that more often, like this. I know you can make a stone shovel head, and then you can make a binding with things. Uh, I'm assuming you could still make it out of stone if you wanted, like so. And then you can take these items and go over here to this, which is, let's say you want to make a shovel, and then you could put your stone items here and here, and now you have a stone shovel. It's stone bound. And you're using your tool station. I want to make this as well. So this is a frying pan. So let's see, do I have this the tool for that? I do have the pattern. I want to make that. The other thing that you can do with these is I believe you can make a cast, but we'll, we'll see about doing that here in a minute, is you have to make the stone one first, okay? So here's this, and here's that, and you can make a stone pan, okay? So you have the pattern. <laughs> now, let's make it. So you put this here, and this here, and now suddenly you have a frying pan made out of stone. It's the coolest thing ever. Now, I'm not real sure how to use it yet, but I know you can use it like a, a a weapon. It's got a plus three attack damage, same as a shovel. Um, that pickaxe, it's half the sword. So if you had this out of a, a heavier material, it would be kind of cool. So that's just some of the fun things that you can do with your templates. Um, and to make these items, you just have a what is called a crafting bench. Dun, 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 dun. Do I have a blank stencil? You have to have a stencil for all these, a blank stencil. No, not there. Let's put this one back, though, that I got made up. Put all these back. Um, and now, the other thing that you need is what is called um, brass. There's copper, aluminum, brass ingot. That's probably just enough to do what I need to do. Come on. But I need, here's what I need though. I need to do that. I need, eh, this isn't the episode quite what I wanted to make, but that's okay. I need that frying pan. That's, there's a reason for that. Oh look, I just did textures. Nice. See my chisel? Chiseling. We could change it around to some things. Let's see if we can find a cool design. That's nice. I like it. It's different. Meanwhile, let me out. Okay. So here, I don't have very much in here right now. But I can do this. Melt it all down. Whatever we're going to do. What melt? Take it. Yeah, so that'll melt down, and I have silver in there currently, but I need this to make a um, cast. And so once you have your smeltery set up, we can go into this a little bit more later. Um, but we need to remove this. This is my ingot thing. And what I'm going to do is put this in there. And we're going to make a cast of that frying pan once it comes out. And I think I could use gold as well, but we're going to use what we have so far. Once this is this is a, a aluminum brass, you can um, combine copper and aluminum, I believe, or iron. I'm not real sure which to make this alloy as you smelt it, and it comes out as as the item. Now, see, there's blood in here, and I'm not sure how I got blood in my smeltery. I think something must have died in it. I'm not sure how it came, what it is, but we'll we'll live with it. And as soon as that is done, so aluminum brass, you click it and it brings it to the bottom of the smell tree. So now we're going to make a, uh, a cast, okay? And it comes out, and pretty soon it hardens, so you click that, and you click it again to get your skillet back. Now you can put your cast back in there. So now whatever you pour out, 
So let's say we want a silver skillet. We can now click it and it'll pour out and make a silver something, right? Will it not? Does it not like silver in my cast? Maybe I have to actually make an iron. Okay, so here we go. This isn't the episode I wanted today, but it's turning out to be kind of a fun thing to learn about. Um, here's some iron, not very much of it. Tin, aluminum's different, copper. Uh, do I have any more iron? What's in here? Um, nothing. See, you've, you could tell I've made other casts, and here's the ingot cast that we just took out to get some things out there. I have gold. Make a gold frying pan? I really just want metal. Well, you know, I have some ingots. Let's do that. We'll just. It's not the most efficient way, but it shows what I want. But it looks like I might be out of fuel. Arg! We'll be back, kids. I've got to go get some lava. Hey, everybody, welcome back. And um, I did go get some lava down here. As you can see, there is a giant lava pool. Well, in the process, I found this giant ravine and just have been mining the tar out of it. I've got several stacks of iron. I've got several stacks of um, diamonds that I found even. And so what I'm doing is I'm coming down here and I'm just refilling all my little lava buckets as we go so that I don't run out ever again. Now, it, it, today Fluent Chaos was on the server and he and I had a long chat about many things um, and had a good time. We did a little collab together, so that'll be coming out after a little bit. Um, probably not with the time that you see this episode, um, but fairly soon would be my guess. And then we have to go here and up and out to get out of our little mining tunnel here. So I found all these lovely things, and he came and saw me at my tree house and a couple other places. But for now, what we're going to do is smelt down this iron so I can show you what I mean about using the casts. Now that's where we had gotten to at that point, and there's also some silver here, so I think I will try to do silver next to fill that up. Now these bamboos are such a nice thing. Really, they really, really are. They make great barriers. They keep things out from, uh, unless I have a directed place for them to be, which is okay. They can come greet me at my door, but they can't sneak up behind me, and that's okay. So we're going to let this smelt down. It just takes a little bit, but you can do all these at once. The higher up your smeltery is, like if I had one more block, I could do just another nine. You can do nine at a time. Um, so if I had another block, I could put another nine up here, which would be cool. Oh, there's a bad guy. Here. Sneaking up on me. You slow yourself down there in the water, that's fine. Little bad guys. All the bad guys. Hmm, hide over here. But I went to his base and saw what his base was like, which is kind of cool. He's just getting started. <clears throat> we can hop over there for a minute while this is smelting. Here's the waypoints again. We talked about these. We can go to Fluent's secret house. Look at what he's got started up here. He's got basalt. I'm not real certain how to get the basalt, but I want some of it. And these are elevators, which we absolutely have to make. Is it right click? Um, if you left shift, right shift, is it shift click? I don't know. I don't know how to go back up on the elevator. But we're definitely going to use the waypoints again. Go back to my house. Alright, let's see if that smelted up. I heard it. See, I see those creeper faces and it freaks me out every time. I'm like, creepers! Ah! I've been blown up too many times. Okay, it's still smelting. we got a lot of silver left in here. And I'm wondering why the silver didn't come out. Make sure that's down. And let's... Go ahead and finish filling up our things here to get them done, because they were half done. No awesome hats for you, huh? Die, crazy thing. Okay, look. Here's our lovely things. Those are done. Pop them out, right-click them. 
Are they done? Nope, still doing this thing. So we can do a couple more silver blocks, hit the spigot, and it comes right out. This is a drain, a spigot, and then these are casting basins, which is made just by doing a U-shape, like you would for a cauldron, with the sheared brick. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of silver. Am I going to have enough left? Once again, half full. Did not plan ahead, did I? Okay, so the iron is done, however. So we can now do a casting of iron. So you showed, I showed how I made this. You right-click the spigot, and it pours it out into this cast. And now you right-click it again, and it comes out. So I now have the original cast in the iron pan. Very cool. So what we'll do is put that back there. Actually, hang on. Let's go get the handle. To make the iron skillet, you need the handle. And I know I have a cast for that. This is my casting chest. Or one of them is. This one? Yeah, there you go. There's the tool rod handle. Let's see if we can do that. Make an iron one. Right click it in. Click the cast. The spigot. And ta-da! There's a tool handle. Take the cast back. And that's where our parts builder comes in. Put that back. Let's go over here. This is our parts builder right here. And we want a frying pan. So we're going to put this iron pan that we just made a cast out of. We're going to put that iron tool rod in. And now we have a frying pan is a heavy weapon that uses sheer weight to stun its foes, especially attack block. Natural ability, heavy. Shift and right click and you place the frying pan. Damage is low, durability high, requires parts, the pan and the handle. It's a plus four attack damage. That's better than anything else we've gotten so far except for our swords, which is a plus seven. The axe is plus six, a plus five. This is a plus four, so it's, it's more than a shovel. Um, and part of the things that I found with our lovely trip to there is permafrost. I'm not real sure about what that is, but you get all kinds of fossils. Um, so we'll see if we can stick it up here. Let's put all our fossils up here. Skulls and whatnot. And we got frozen meat, and I'm assuming I can do something with that, with these fossils. Probably reanimate it somehow. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But I did get these fern seeds out of there, and the, the permafrost was dropping um, books as well. Just plain books, which is kind of cool. So let's see if we can plant it. Yeah, look, it grows. Let's see what it does when it gets big. Neat. I wonder if they get super huge. Neat. I don't care. That'd be great. Hope they got enough room to grow. Do I need to chop down this tree? I'll totally chop down this tree. You just wait and see trees going and I want those ferns to grow because I want to see how they look. I think that'll be cool. That'd be cool. Alright, so we'll come check on the ferns after a bit and see what they've done. Our prehistoric fern seeds which we gathered from permafrost. Um, and I've showed you a little bit about smeltery, what you can do with that. Uh, there's so much more that you can do with this and I'll, I'll have to show you how. I showed you how to make the cast. Uh, you make the piece over here with your parts builder. You got to do the pattern first. I showed you how to make a pattern. Um, I still haven't gone into how to build this, but it takes cl gravel, clay balls, and sand, and you put that together in your crafting bench, and it makes um, grout, and then you bake that, and then you get seared brick, and that's what you make all these little things out of. And there's different arrangements of it to make the different pieces and you use glass to make a tank and um, once you start making it you get a book that's all about the, the Tinker's Construct smell tree. So that's what that's all about. Um, the other thing we were going to do today that I had started showing you was the sky block. So we needed to get uh, ender pearls. But I think with what we've covered today, that might be enough of an episode. So I'm going to store my extra items. And I'm going to leave these here because I need to smelt them down. It doesn't do me any good to carry them around just the way they are. Um, let's see. This I'll hang on to. I've been hanging on to all these kind of rare gems. I know there's things I can do with that. I'm not sure what, but I know there's things we can do with it. So we're going to do that. 
also from the Gumdrop Hut Central. This has been Lapis Lori as a Bat, and we will catch you next time. See ya! Alright, I, I, I just gotta show you this. Okay, so I have this. I need to actually build this up so it looks cool. Hang on. Hang on, this is the best thing ever. Alright, so we're gonna have... This is our abstract art. We are now gonna have ourselves a lovely fire pit. Okay? Okay, here's our fire pit. We'll have to fill this up with something awesome. I don't know what yet, but we're gonna figure it out. But check this out. You shift and right click the frying pan. You hear that? That is the best thing ever. Now right click the frying pan and you can actually add fuel of some sort. I don't know if we, can we use a lava? Heck yeah. And now let's fry ourselves some meat. It's whatever meats you want to put in there. It cooks it. Now look, it's cooking. Awesome. It is awesome. This is the best thing ever. What if I um let's do this. There's our there's our our, our campfire. Our cooking campfire. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> you could fry up some meat. That is best thing ever. You could cook it all at once. It's so fast. I'm assuming you can. Let's put all the wood in there. Maybe that's not good enough fuel or um the lava's not good enough. I don't know. It looks like it's cooking. In the meantime, let's click it again, see? It's having some issues. It's like it doesn't have enough fuel. Maybe lava is not a good fuel for it. I put a bucket of lava in there, but we'll, we'll get some of this. Put some coal, see how it works. See if that works better. Oh no, it's done! Look! <gasps> it cooked them all at once instead of like one at a time. That is awesome. I love the frying pan. Yay! I just wanted to show you guys the frying pan.